There we go. Smacked it. A fish. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Again, thank you for clicking these videos. I appreciate all the support. And I hope you enjoy them too. I hope there's some information from them as well as some just good old entertainment. But we're back out here in Susquehanna River. As you can see behind me, the river is up. It's pretty high, but we are getting on some big old smallmouth. And that's what the high water does. It gets them pushed out of the channels, out of their deep holes, gets them up against the bank so us bank anglers can get on some, some even PBs this time of year too. Or any time of the year, as long as the water's high. But again, thank you for clicking this video. You're gonna wanna watch this one. Again, there's some good ones, but let's get fishing. All right, good afternoon, guys. Back out here at the Susquehanna River. As you can see, the river has come up quite a bit. It's been raining on and off for a couple days now. I think I'm gonna start by throwing a little micro chatter bait, and then we'll drag something along the bottom. I just got absolutely hammered right there. That was a solid thud. I didn't get any hooks in them though. Let's see if we'll get it this time. I was kind of just like spacing out, looking at the fog down the river. It snapped me back into reality. All right, we're gonna give the old boat launch a try. And this is definitely a tried and true spot when the water comes up. So it has this nice eddy here. There's a bunch of boulders and logs, which I'll pop a clip up now. Cause I made a video when it was clear so you could see the structure that the fish lay by whenever the river comes up. There we go. Smacked it. Big one, big smallie. Get out of the tree. This is a chunk, this is a giant. Holy crap. Oh, I just got done saying, this is a spot where these smallies pull up into. Get out of that current. Heck yeah. I don't even know if I told you guys when I'm throwing around that Tackle Max crawl, have it on a Tackle Max, actually it's a Blitz jig. Holy tank, look at that one. Let them go, let them grow. Thanks for biting. That is awesome. All right, well heck, let's see if we can get on another one. That was first cast. Absolutely crushed that jig too. And that's definitely one benefit of the river coming up is fish are predictable. So they're not going to be out in the current, they're going to push up into the slack water where they don't have to burn off so much energy. Well, good morning everyone. We're going to start today where we ended yesterday, right here at the boat launch. See if we can get some more big old smallies. So the river has come up a little bit. Still gonna toss around this Tackle Max crawl. There's a high probability I'm gonna get snapped off because there is a lot of snags in this area. But if that happens, I got a pocket full of baits to try as well. Got some warm weather coming in. It's gonna be, I think, 60 the next couple days. So a little taste of spring. Here in the next couple weeks, the bass should start moving from the river into the creek. But I had a bite there, I think I'm snagged. But we'll have some big old smallies rolling up in the creek pre-spawn. Oh, we got it. We got it. So many logs and stuff down there. I do have an exposed hook on this one. It had a weed guard, but I actually broke it off just so I could get a better hook up. It's a give and take. You have a weed guard, you get less weeds, maybe a worse hookup percentage. You get rid of the weed guard, 
you get snagged on everything, but when you set the hook, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna be landing that fish. A fish, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, holy fish, holy crap, oh my gosh, holy oh, crap, absolute powerhouse of a freaking smallie. Oh my gosh, I didn't even felt, I didn't, I can't even speak right now, I didn't even feel a tap, I just felt weight. Oh my gosh, we need a scale for this one. Let's rinse her off. Absolute Goliath of a smallmouth. Holy crap. That might be a PB. All right, we got this big girl getting a drink. Let's get the scale set up here. But yeah, when this beauty hit it, I said I didn't feel anything but weight. And I lifted up and I thought I was snagged on a stick and I didn't want to bury the hook in it. Then I felt it move a little bit. And wow, look at this one. Not quite five. 413. Easy girl. I know. We're gonna let you go. What an awesome catch. Again, when the rivers get up high like this, expect to find big old smallmouth get pushed up against the bank. Let them go, let them grow biting big girl there she goes yes Whew. wow now that the adrenaline's wore off a little bit i'm gonna make some more cash right here and that fish was literally three feet off the bank in front of me that was awesome that was an incredible catch and honestly that's what keeps me addicted as an angler it's just the river holds so many giant fish and so many species and when a river comes up, you just never know what you're gonna hook into. It's just so exciting. We just spooked a fish right here. You can see how like I'm kind of stuck right there and lifting up. That's how I felt with that fish. I didn't even feel it hit anything. I just felt the weight. And then whenever I felt it, just a, I saw my line kind of move a little bit, it was on.